So I'm at a Chevron station just east of the town of Slidell, Louisiana, and I'm heading fishing, but it feels so weird. <laughs> it's 7.39 at night. I don't have my sunglasses. I don't have a buff. I don't even have a fishing pole. I'm going to meet a viewer named Jeremy Guidry who contacted me and said he does a ton of floundering this time of year and has some tremendous success doing it. Now, he and his buddy are set up to flounder from their boats. They don't even get out. They just cruise around the flats with bright lights on, hoping to gig some flounder. We had a big front come through today. Northwest wind dumped all the water out. That's apparently what they like. They like low water just as long as it's not dirty. Hopefully, it's not dirty yet. This is definitely something outside the box for me. Really looking forward to doing it. So I'm following Jeremy to his buddy's lot where he apparently stores his boat. That's where we're leaving out of. We're actually across the border in Purlington, Mississippi. Just right across the Pearl. I think Jeremy's actually from Mississippi. I mean, it's the wind is really laid. Oh, it's That's right, I did not think it was gonna be like that this, this morning. So I went out there fishing. Yeah. And, uh, you catch a few fish? I caught a grand slam, I guess you call it. I had one bass, one red, one flounder, and one speck. Okay, yeah. And then, and then my dad uh, was trolling in the river. He caught a couple specks and a couple reeds. You, uh, you locked the truck down? Yeah, uh-huh, yep. Let me sure. So, Dustin, how often do you do this? Uh, not as often as I used to before I had kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they'll mess I up your to, recreation. I try to go whatever opportunity I get, you know? Right. Yeah. A lot of people's going into the woods when it's north wind, and I like to come out here. Right. Start chasing them deer, and I try to tell them when these when these fronts come through is when these big flounders move in. Really? Yeah. So you're happy with today's conditions, or what? Oh. Uh, or you'll little, see you'll see when you're out there. Under, so I, I gotta guess, dirty water kills you more than anything. Huh? That's right. When I when I pulled up. Today, early this morning, it was it was real clear, and I could see the wind was beating with the waves, it was beating it down and uh, getting a little muddy. But I think okay. it'll be all right. All right. If the wind, if the tide come back in, it'll, it'll suck some clear water in with it. So okay. You saw them popping. The way you can see them on bottom, you can see, see all the eyes. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Stick it all the way through. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Pick it back okay. up. And then we'll open the lie, we'll just leave it open. And y'all made those? Well, we, I had, we had them made. You had them made, yeah. Okay. But your design, though. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Pugley Sporting Goods. I mean, on a scale from 1 to 10, this water is a what? Mm. For floundering. Oh, uh, you can see bottom there. Yeah. It's kind of shallow. Yeah, I'll give this water about a 5. That's right. Okay. It might get a little better. Yeah. yeah. It's not it's not terrible water. Yeah, you can see a fish out for sure. Now are you looking for the full outline of the fish or are you just looking for yeah. aspects of it or what? You understand what I'm asking? It's, kind of, it's, 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 it's hard to You just gotta see one. Yeah, right? you gotta okay. you just gotta see one and once you see Because one may be uh one may be buried up and all you can see is his his tail or maybe the outline of his head. Okay. And then the next one might be sitting, sitting up there, sticking out like a sore thumb, you know? And do you find that they typically school? Like if you see one, you're going to see more? Or they... You usually see at least, you usually see pairs. That's okay. right. Definitely in the fall, you'll start seeing pairs of them. Okay. Yeah. So he, he should definitely still be here? Well, I'd say definitely. Uh, I don't know about... I wonder if... With that gig running down the side of the boat right by it. It might have spooked him? Okay. Side. Did you put it right by him? I put it on the inside of it. There he is, right there. Right there. Look at it. He's still laying there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. He's about to get clouded up, though. So it's really, you're looking more for a shape. Right. That's right. right. Yeah. So you can, you can about go to your touch him there. Okay. Yes, there there we took off. All right. So it ain't. Yeah, I mean, it's the only not like... we get in a hurry is sometimes they're going under the boat. Yeah. Other than that, you can just take your time. You don't want to gig with two hands. 
because when you tend to pull and okay. you'll, you'll miss it. If I tried to get it with two hands, I'd miss them every time. Really? You I'll just put two hands on and I'll just let it slide. That's right. Just like a pool stick. Like a pool stick. Okay. You can always make sure. But if you put that other hand in there, you're going to miss them. My brother-in-law. Yeah, look. <laughs> I don't know what it is about him. He cannot get a finder to see. Okay. And it pisses him off. You better edit that out. <laughs> but that, uh, you're getting trouble. It ain't, uh, it ain't a secret. <laughs> he knows it, huh? All right, so spot number one, just some little ones. But now we're heading to spot number two. Trust me, we're going to find some flounder tonight. Is that red? Is that red or a It might be a gold. That's a big red. Look at that. Man, is that awesome. Look at that. See right when you moved your hand? Yeah, he saw me. Yeah. Look, man, they, they've got a sick sense. Yeah, it's... You try to gig them. As soon as you flinch. As soon see. as you tighten your muscles, they, they, they know. They know it. I don't know how, but they do. They hard to get. They are hard to get. Look at this water about eight. Nine. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty. There's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, I oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I saw him. Oh, oh, oh. That was a good one. Mm -hmm. There he is. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. There he is right there. He ain't holding, is he? No. He's steadily running. There he is. He stopped. You see? Look at that. Sticking. Ah. Oh! I missed him. Up. Did he come off? No, he came off. He was cut. Yeah, I dog it. That ain't good. There's a good one, get him. Oh, there he is. All right. There we go. That's a nice spot. Where are you aiming on the fish? Just kind of right behind the head? Yeah, you, you want to try to get him up over the front because you don't want to mess up meat. You know, okay, obviously. right. Let's see where I stuck that last one that got off. He's, it was behind the head a little too far and, and, okay. then, and then down toward the belly. So that's probably why he come off. It, it was oh, that soft softer part, part yeah. Gut. Basically the gut. You can tell when you gig them good, like that one was obviously dead. He wasn't. When you gig them, when you don't gig them and don't kill them, they'll, they'll swim, slam the gig into the boat. Really? Yeah. It's like you spine them if you spine yeah, them. Yeah, they just, they just stone cold. All right, spot number two resulted in a near miss and a really nice keeper. Now we've moved on to spot three. Spot number two just kind of petered out. I don't know what happened, but uh, didn't see any, even, even any little ones. But very optimistic for this area, water looks really good, so we're about to get some. Look, look at that big one going off. Yep. What's wrong with him not holding tonight? You nice, know? got him. There we go. Oh, he's What is that? What is the deal with that? I think maybe some grits getting in beside that flipper on that thing. Got him? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know how he got that. <laughs> Stone cold. Right in the head, too. That's a good shot. Here we go. That's crazy. Come on, look at you. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to get him because he was. He was a little bit spookier. He got his uh, sights. He got, he got his sights zeroed in at night, huh? This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Matrix Shad and by Cito New Orleans and by Versamax Quartz and by Death Grip Jig Heads. Let's switch tide, sides, man. Maybe we'll change the look. All right. Normally, the bank side is going to be the side with more action anyway. Right there. He ain't big enough, is he? Too nope. small. See any? <laughs> Barely. The small ones aren't as dark. Mm hmm. They don't. As they get bigger, I think they get, they get darker. darker. Okay. Is that one? Oh, there's one. There's one. You got it. You got it. All right. Perfect. Flounder number one. Look at this big boy. Yeah. 
It's better than brother in law. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You're not worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> I should have never said nothing. <laughs> I'm glad to make sure he watches this video. All right. Yeah, <laughs> right. Not you. You, you're good. You're good. Yeah, that's a gig, two or three one night in a row. Kept coming off. Kept coming off. We finally looked and realized he had the gig turned off facing the wrong way. <laughs> the gig was upside down. Yeah. <laughs> of course, there may have been a few Bud Lights. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, so it, what, what time is it? <laughs> it's about 11.30, midnight? Yeah, 11.48. 11.48, almost midnight, it's almost tomorrow. We're just pulling back in. And look, these guys were apologizing for how slow it was. It was awesome. <laughs> Definitely a whole lot of fun. Really more like hunting than it is fishing. Kind of like almost sight fishing reds, but different, I don't know. I, more like hunting, really. Just an absolute blast, so much fun. I can't wait to get out here and do it again when it's like really good because they say you can see what 75 100 a night yep. yeah is that legitimate yes. oh yeah. yeah we seen probably 150 last time 150 last time they came they kept their limits and uh we'll be doing this again all right until next time hopefully we'll see you in the marsh if we don't we'll see you right here on marsh map mass on